Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a self-managing distributed systems, guys. So basically, from the name only, you can say these are managing something by themselves. So self-managing, okay? So they are adopting to something, right? So that is nothing but the concept of self-managing distributed system. So these are the systems which can themselves adjust when something happens. So something bad or something wrong happens. These can these systems can adopt themselves, guys, to be on the positive side. Okay. So these automatically adopt on the account of self-configuration, self-managing, self-healing, self-optimization, or self-anything. Okay, so self configuration is nothing but so assume that you gave a server some kind of application like server Apache some version. Okay, so basically if there is an update, it can update automatically and change its configuration. So those kind of things will be coming. Self managing. So if something files are missing, it can download from other servers or it can get from some other servers or it can replicate its itself to other servers or any kind of operation. Similarly, self healing. If there is any drawback or any kind of a power failure it can turn return on and it can check its things and everything so self-optimization and all those things okay okay so one of the major example for this is nothing but a feedback control system guys so basically for this the best example could be your machine learning guys so basically based on the output okay in a reverse feedback and a backtracking algorithm they'll be using guys so basically based on the final output if the accuracy is too low okay then backtracking is done by adjusting the values guys so it will be adjusting the values based on its output so that is nothing but feedback guys okay so based on the observation we do metric estimation then we do analysis and identify things and if we won't adjust any we then adjust again we take observations and the process continues so basically this whole process continues on observations and feedbacks guys okay so feedbacks are take and changes are applied okay feedback taken and changes are applied so if you want me to draw a small diagram so the diagram will be in this way guys okay so here is your application oh sorry here is your application sorry for that okay so here is your system so that system will be taking some observations you'll be calculating the metrics and for that metrics you'll be doing some analysis and you'll be saying that adjust that adjust this and adjust this to get the final result so you'll be adjusting them and you'll be correcting the system and you'll be checking whether again this process is correct or not. So in this way it will be working guys. So this is initial configuration, this is a noise. So if there is anything. So you can explain the flow only guys. That's what I was, I tried to write in the previous page. Okay. So the best example for this is a content delivery management guys. So in one of our previous lecture, like around five to six pages ago only, we have discussed about this content management system in, uh, okay, in hybrid guys. Okay. So this, so this you can write here guys because the concept is the same. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about the processes, threads and multi-threading guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.